funeral director certificate. And there's more photos, two of the family. A little bit dark on this corner, but we are gonna head downstairs now. This is where the creepy part begins. You can even see some like remnants of like blood or fluid. <laughs> What is going on today, Rowan fans? Hope you guys have been doing well. If you're new around here to the channel, I just want to say welcome to the Rowan family. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button bell, guys. Today, we're going to be exploring this abandoned funeral home that's been here since like the 1950s and it got abandoned around the 1980s. Now, the funny thing is, I explored an abandoned funeral home about a couple years ago. Hopefully, you guys might be familiar with it. It was this place right here. This abandoned home was built by a businessman in the early 1900s. He had a wife and two kids one of them inheriting the house and converting it into a funeral home in the 1970s. It was a family-run business that unfortunately went bankrupt when the father passed away, leaving his family to unsuccessfully manage the business. It was then abandoned in the late 90s. Yeah, these are all bedrooms up here. Yeah, there's a lot of things inside. Holy crap, this place is loaded with caskets. The same owner of that funeral home had another one and it's also left abandoned and there's a lot of caskets inside really really creepy vibes I get chills just looking at this place it's just I don't know it has like such a dark energy to it it's a family run business and eventually they did very bad at one point and they had to shut down their company and move out of the country to live with other family relatives of theirs the county doesn't know what to do with it it's just been sitting abandoned for many many years if you're not familiar with funeral homes, this is where they would prepare caskets and people's funerals. They would take the bodies here, have them in like a fake casket while they prepared for the real one. And they had to deal with so many people. I mean, this place could be haunted in itself, but I'm here for the explore and to see what's inside and what's left and to see some of the history that's left forgotten by the family that used to live here. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you do, don't forget, smash that thumbs up button and let's begin the adventure. Oh look, look, there's a black cat. Little cat. People say black cats are bad luck, but I think they're good luck, and I think they're the cutest cats around. But yeah, let's try to find a way inside. This is how it looks like. Also forgot to mention that this was a family-run business, so they would actually live upstairs on the second floor. So upstairs are gonna be like bedrooms and people's belongings are supposedly still inside and left behind. All right, so I made it to the top floor of the building. This place, it's unbelievable. I'm so happy to be exploring this place because the past two explorers that we've done, we've been hitting places that were really about the architecture and less about like a time capsule. And this place is a time capsule. And I know you guys enjoy it a lot, so I think you guys will like it. But this place really does creep me out. Now the caskets are down on the bottom floor, so you're gonna watch until the very end when we get there. But for now, let's check out what's left around. All right, now this bedroom that we're first checking out has so much. I'm gonna blur out all the information because I can see some of it right now. But yeah, super time capsule. Oh, let's check what's inside in here. Is there anything? There's nothing, but I really do love these old suitcases. Yeah, they don't make them like this really. Nowadays you have like the zipper ties, which I feel like is a little bit more unsafe. I'd rather have a suitcase like this where people don't have to like stab a pen through it and be able to open the suitcase up. Whoa, that's awesome. Still got a drawer full of stuff. Look at this one, they got like a barber tool set right here. Or maybe that's just more for makeup. So I feel like, you know, a woman would probably sleep in this room. We still got some perfume. We got Chanel number five. I'm sure some of these could be very, very rare too. All 
Alright, Banks is exploring his bedroom now, so I'm gonna check the one next to it. Whoa, he still got these shoes here. What else is around here? Oh, we got a calendar. The calendar's from 1997. This is probably the time it got abandoned. And I think that's the family that used to live here. But anyway, I'm gonna blur all that information out. Oh wow, would you look at this? There's a family photo. Yeah, they look the same. Look at that, we found a newspaper. And it dates back to January 23rd, 1996. This room is a mess, um, but Jen is gonna clean this room, so we'll see how it looks like in a bit. Dude, look, look how messy this room is, bro. Jesus. But Janet can clean this up. Yeah, Jen's gonna. Jen's yeah, gonna she's make like it look the nice. clean master. <laughs> no, but I thought this was a MAGA hat for a second. Really? Yeah. All right, guys. So we found what y'all been looking for: a little kitchen. Guess what's in the kitchen? A refrigerator. That's right. Since everything is left here like this, I guarantee you there's probably food in the fridge. Oh no. You might be right. It's been a while. I've been on a winning streak. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh No, dude, there's eggs. Dude, this probably smells really bad. I wouldn't nasty. take the whiff at all. And then the top. Oh god. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get a good view for them, so I gotta open this again. <laughs> Wait, shine the light? Yeah, yeah, shine, shine. Here we go, guys. This is for you. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Ooh. Okay, I give up. I give up. Okay, yeah, <laughs> let's go. Whoa. Okay, I was looking at this bathroom, I was like, wow, it's pretty uh, simple and plain. But this kind of. That's weird. I can't tell if that's. Real or fake blood? On to the last bedroom over here. Jan is taking photos of it still. Oh no no no! Take your photos. I don't. I, I, yeah yeah no no. Go for it. Okay, no problem. So Jan is the photographer of the group, and she's just organized this room. Really nice. That's cool. Be a good photo. Janet did a pretty good job with uh, tidying up this room. Alright, so Banks and I, we just heard something inside this closet. What is it? Let's see. It's probably a mouse. I'm not seeing nothing. A lot of Christmas decorations, but I don't see an animal, but I heard something moving here. It could have been subtle because I've been kicking and throwing things in there. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Is that just on TV? That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, cameras go like that. <laughs> yeah. I thought uh, something was about to jump on your face. Yeah, yeah, I thought there's, so too. Wow, there's a bunch of records here. Frederick Knight. I wonder if there's any rare ones like Elvis. I wonder if this even can I turn on. Nah, it's not even plugged in. But that's cool. I like that a lot. It's very um very discreet. Especially if you were to close this. Wow, we have more photos here. What the family that used to be living in here? I think this this is their daughters. Yo, her hair is wild. I've never even seen that hairstyle before. And right here on this corner is uh, a funeral director's certificate. And there's more photos, too, of the family. All right, this is definitely the coolest find so far here. Look at this thing. It's like a little portable radio. You got FM and AM. I mean, if you think about it, this thing was like ahead of its time before to even come up with this idea. 
So props whoever invented this. That's so cool. I wonder if they're... Okay, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a look too. Yeah, there's really nothing but a bunch of clothes, like hundreds of them. dark on this corner but we are gonna head downstairs now this is where the creepy part begins I also want to mention this is such so this is like an elevator shaft too no clue why they would have this there's only like two floors oh wait or maybe this would lead down to the basement too but this is super dangerous like imagine exploring here at night and not seeing this drop Careful, you gotta be careful at all times. Alright, let's head downstairs. This is why you always gotta be careful, guys. When you be watching my videos, just uh, know that it's not easy exploring these places sometimes. It can be dangerous. Huh. These are like made of plastic, and they're hollow too. Yeah, there's nothing really down here. This is um the little elevator thing that we saw from the top floor. And this is weird, there's like a rope right here. It makes me wonder if someone tried using the rope to get down. I wonder what could be down over here. Hmm. Honestly, there's really nothing. Someone definitely got trapped down there and use this rope to get out. Now here's a sneak peek of the caskets. Let me get some light. This is only one of them so far. But let's go see the rest right now. It's just down this hall over here. Here's a little office. Ew, there's like a dead mouse. It's nasty. Oh, okay, never mind. There's a dead vulture. I don't want to really get too close. It must smell really bad. Yeah, this is unbelievable. And it freaks me out to just be seeing this scattered like inside this home. But I mean, they used to live inside here, so it's weird. They did business downstairs and they would like just live and sleep upstairs. That's pretty gross. I'm starting to think that homeless people were here too. It definitely smells weird in here. This could have belonged to some squatter. There's another casket here right in the corner of the room. Man. Yeah, this place is really, really bad. It's in such bad condition. see some like remnants of like blood or fluid here's another one here too I'm not sure what's in this room over here oh, of course another casket doors just wide open oh there's two of them 
So if you're expecting like bodies inside these caskets, well, there's nothing. This was just a family owned business and they would use this to make some caskets or prepare people's bodies for them. They wouldn't actually put the bodies in here. So this was like the main entrance. People would enter from here, maybe sit down and wait to order a casket. And we got the founder here. Even says his name on there, but I'm not gonna show that. It says 1910 to 1979. So that's when he passed away. All the other rooms are trash, but this one, I feel like it's stuck like this for a long time. I can't believe that everything is still framed on the wall. No vandalism whatsoever. This is a very low-key spot. I'm not sure where this leads. Oh, it just leads to like another exit. You, uh, you fill it with water, like hot water. Yeah. And you just are you serious? So this was used for constipation? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, interesting. Must have been constipated a lot. Yeah. Three of them in there. Yeah, <laughs> for real. All the clothes are just left in here too. So I'm really impressed by the Sony A1. This is my newest camera guy. So if you've been seeing a little difference in quality, this is why. I'm using one of the best cameras, a Sony's flagship camera, and now I'm filming in 4K. Yeah, guys, we just got done exploring. I took longer than most people because <laughs> I filmed pretty long. They, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, but <laughs> we're good. We're going to head home now. Um, this is the last day of our road trip and the last explore. So I'm going to end the video now, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell. Also, check out the gang's channels. It's been an awesome trip with them. So their social links will be down below. They've taken a bunch of photos and videos on this place. So be sure to check them out. Links in description. But all right, peace. We forgot our names. Wait, <laughs> why do I introduce you guys? <laughs> well, of course. It's, it's still you know, the same people. It's still the same people from the <laughs> the first road trip. Well, yeah. maybe maybe not. Still I think on the same road trip. Janet might have changed her name. <laughs> Damn it, Janet. But uh, yeah, Janet. Big Banks, and we got Worldwide Hammer. Hammer Worldwide. Oh my God. But it's all good. I'll bro. get it right at one point. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> All right. Later, guys.